Hi guys, it's Mark Zazaski at Revisto and welcome to the initial setup video one. Today we're going to walk through the first step once you've received the initial email with your temporary username and password as a super admin of Revisto. The first step is going to be logging in utilizing those credentials you received in your inbox. Once we've logged in, we're going to have to invite our team members so they have access to be able to download Revisto off of the Revisto workspace. If they haven't been invited to your project team, they're not going to be able to download the tool or log in unless they utilize the link, which I'll put in the description, and then they can download the product, but they'll still need to be invited to your project team to be able to log in. So I'm going to come over to licenses and I'm going to select manage. And from here, we can invite our team members. So if they already have the product, you uh, download it utilizing the link below, they're going to be able to log in once you add their email. If they haven't, they're going to get an email to allow them to download directly off the website. So once I type in somebody's name here, um, I'll do rick at revisto.com and I would click add. Once they've been added, we can specify the user right. So as you can see, the role of, of Armin here is an administrator. The admin has the same roles as, as, as I do as a super admin, except for they cannot change the super admin. So they can assign licenses, they can manage the space, they can manage the projects and see this entire workspace as if they're the super admin, they just can't change me, as you can see here. Um, next is gonna be our content creator. This is somebody that can upload content or append stuff from Revit or Navisworks or AutoCAD, SketchUp, Archicad, etc. cetera. Um, and then we have collaborator who are just gonna be able to access projects they've been invited to within Revisto. Once they've been invited, as discussed, they can utilize the link that I'll put in the description, or they can go to the Revisto homepage and select download. And if they're a technical user and want to integrate with Revisto's uh, issue tracker, Revit, and AutoCAD, Navisworks, they're going to want to download the Revisto 4 Plus plugins. So this has the Vive viewer, the Oculus viewer, the editor, all the different applications and plugins where the viewer, it really, uh, the Revisto 4 application here is just really good for owners or somebody who's not technical at all, uh, but might, might want to comment and view things on their uh, personal device. So highly recommend downloading the Revisto 4 tab if you plan on utilizing any of these features. If you are an end user and you can't log in with the product that you've downloaded, you need to contact your super admin and ask them to add you to the project. Um, so if you utilize the link below in the description, you're going to be able to download it, but it's going to ask you for a username and password when you log in, and your username and password is not going to be authenticated unless the super admin has added you um, to the project team. Additionally, for consultants or subcontractors or other people in the project, I would recommend adding those folks under the project level. So do this after we've uploaded content, which you're going to see in a future video. But once that content has been up there, we can go to private sharing and I would add them on the project level here. So we can type in people outside of our company and then we can specify their rights based on the manage access level that we've set up for that specific project.